Jay Muse, good morning, brother. Good morning. So last week with my, and let's go ahead and use verbal quotes here, highly tuned investigative reporting skills, uh, I cracked the nut that was Kevin Smith and uh, got him to spill about mall rats too. Now I get you. This is a treat, man. Nice. So wait, you're the one that got him to, to finally break, and then... So you're the one who eased him into announcing it. Well, he gave us all the the teas on Twitter the night before, and uh, I think I was the first one on his press tour that day. He was calling in to talk about comic book men, and it was like, you know what? I'm either going to make this interview really uncomfortable by asking, and he'll sidestep it, or he'll be honest, and thankfully he chose to just come out and say, hell yeah, man, we're doing Mall Rats 2 2016. So all in all, pure dumb luck. Nice. And then, you know, yeah, from that, because he... He, he uh, mentioned it on your show, and, and that leaves. He then a couple of days later announced it on our podcast. So that was great. You you greased it up and got it ready for, for him to tell uh, everyone on the podcast. <laughs> what does that mean for you guys? Just because you got a lot of cool uh, sequels and the thirds coming out like Clerks 3. Clerks was where you launched. That was your start. So what does it mean to you for uh, Clerks 3 to be shooting? <laughs> I mean, for me, it just, it just uh, I think it's going to be a blast. Again, whenever I shoot anything with Kevin, I have a, I honestly, it's like I've done a bunch of uh, indie movies and different movies and, and uh, TV shows and whatever since I started, since we've done Clerks with different directors and producers and all that. And, and I'm and not just saying this because he's my butt, like, because we're good friends. I really do have so much fun on his set. It's just the vibe. It's like, the vibe he gives off uh, starts to leak out on the crew and, and everybody working on set. And I just, I don't know, I just always have fun shooting movies with Kevin, but especially when we get to do, uh, you know, our Jay and Bob clerks, for example. Cause, you know, we've done Tusk and we've done Yoga Hosers, Red State, Jersey, like different movies with Kevin. But it's just, I just always have a lot of fun when we get to play those characters and, and uh, just the vibe on set. So, to me, honestly, I'm just excited because it's just, I think it'll be a, a good way to end. Well, again, I thought it was going to be the end until you you got him ready to grease it up, and then he, I didn't even know. He had mentioned it to me and sort of was like, I think maybe I'm going to do this. I think I might do this. And then it was on the podcast that he announced it, and I was like, we're really doing it? So, I don't know. It'll be fun for us to do Clerks, and if all goes as planned, uh, this time next year, we start shooting mall rats. I mean, it'll, it'll just be a lot of fun. It, it, I always, again, I always have a lot of fun, and, and I think in the next year or two, it'll be nice to, to do these movies and get in the costume before, you know, I start looking like I'm 70 years old and Kevin's 80, whatever. <laughs> well, I think even if when you guys hit those ages, you still have to reprise the roles as Jay and Silent Bob in some fashion. You got to make a cameo somewhere. No, I, I mean, I think, I think at the, I was thinking we could maybe do like Jay and Bob, you know, go to a nursing home and it's just, a, <laughs> it's like Jay and Bob strike back yet again. And it's us like flirting with like senior citizens and we're trying to escape the nursing home in our, in our, uh, you know, those little rockers or something. I don't know. <laughs> And with with uh, with mall rats too. I mean, now that you and Kevin have talked about it more, uh, one question I I regret not asking, but maybe you might know: Are we looking at the original cast, full cast, returning for mall rats too? Any word on that? I don't know. I no, no word on that. I know that he would definitely like to bring back uh, a couple of the uh, original cast, and and I don't. I think maybe for cameos. I don't know who's going to be in it as. Uh, you know, who's going to be in throughout the whole movie, what cast, and who's going to just maybe do a pop-in. Uh, but I'm sure he's going to, you know, try to at least get Lee to come pop in. And, and I think it'd be great to have Ethan Suplee pop in. So we'll see what happens. And you know what's cool, too, is you wouldn't think it being uh, 2015 now, but malls are actually still like a viable hangout for uh, for teens, even today. I mean, it translates from 20 years ago and it's still relevant to to kids today just because that's a place you know especially out here in arizona it's hot as hell so why not go hang out in the air conditioning in the mall with your friends no totally and especially during like christmas time i mean christmas time is still crazy at the mall you know black friday and that whole business 
you go in the mall, it's crazy. So, and and I think what's great is with mall rats is like, I think it was before its time. It's even more relevant now because not you got the mall aspect of it. But remember, a lot of it was based off comic books, and people didn't know comic books back then as they do now. So like now, all that'll make sense. Like you know, a lot of the the back and forth between the characters. And then, like, the appearance of Stan Lee and all that stuff, people were like, who's this? Who are they talking about? Now everybody knows these characters. Everyone knows, not everyone, but most people know these characters and most people know who Stan Lee is and stuff. So, again, I think it was before its time. So if, if it's similar in the dialogue and, 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 the, and the, you know, what they're talking about, It'll make so much more sense now. So, Speaking of guys who age well making cameos in movies, will Stan be back? Do you know that? Oh, I mean, hopefully. Definitely. I can't imagine he wouldn't be. If he's willing to do it, I know Kevin will definitely want him in it. It's just exciting to see what the next, uh, the next year and a half is going to hold, man. I'm excited for this. Yeah, we got Comic Book Men this Sunday, and then oh, we're doing another season. So, yeah, between the podcast, live podcast, which you can see on CSMOD, S-E-E-S-M-O-D.com, has all the lists of our live podcast, Jam Bob Get Old. Then we got Comic Book Man on Sunday. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully we got Clerks 3 in June and then Ball Rat. It's going to be a wild ride. Dude, J-Views, thank you so much for calling in today, man. Thank you, bro. Have a good one. You too.